Lynx was found injured outside by a good Samaritan. Look at this little ball behind my neck. He was taken to the vet. He wasn't doing that great. He was very skinny. Hello, Winky boy. The vet did come into contact with the owner. He did have a microchip. Hi. But his owners made a really selfless decision to turn him over to a rescue organization so that he could find a more appropriate home. Good morning, my little papito. When I first brought Wings home, he was very curious, also nervous, and was just kind of smelling me. But then within 20 minutes, he wanted to immediately jump on my shoulders. <laughs> At first, I was cautious because I hadn't spent any time with his cat. Just wants to be on me. I didn't know his behavior, so I wasn't sure what he was doing, and it kind of caught me off guard a little bit. He just jumped on me. When I would try to put him down, he would immediately jump back up on my shoulders. Watch this. He was like a parrot, just wanted to hang out on my shoulders. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> oh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what this is about. We don't know too much about Winx's history. Winx has never played with any toys. He lost an eye. We don't know exactly how. We're gonna see. got the one eye, so it's harder for him to... <laughs> he also has FIV, which is common in outdoor cats who fight a lot. Probably fighting for resources, food, and territory. He's being so silly right now. <laughs> I was under the impression that he was a senior because he was in, in rough shape. But he's only three years old. When we got him, he was like seven pounds. And he's a pretty, like, decent sized cat. So, um, you know, at that time that was pretty small for him, but now he's gained some weight. He's got very soulful eyes and he's got one eye. So he's got one very soulful eye. I'm so uncomfortable, but I can't move. Oh, I love you so much. He's still not comfortable being out in the open, being on the floor. I think he feels very vulnerable. Like, is he real? Wink's legs friendly face. I don't know if that's from him being outdoors and possibly being chased by something, but he constantly has to either be on you or up high or kind of hides. Are you gonna give me nipples? Are you giving me nipples? He's very quiet. He does not meow at all, which is unusual. My special boy. Playing? This is the first time I've ever seen you play. He needs to be very close to me at night. He just likes to fall asleep like this. He sleeps on the bed with me across my neck, like a little scarf, or he'll sleep like on my head. My little bud. I love him. Make him mama some biscuits. Right now I'm fostering him. I love him so much and I think that we both came into each other's life at a very pivotal time for both of us. I'm a fan of French fries. <laughs> Within the first like couple of minutes of him being in my house, I felt like he was just very grateful for getting a, a chance to love. Hola, papito. Hola, mi amor. Como se? I love you so much. God, he's the best. We both need each other, but the more animals you keep, the less room you have to foster. I just want to get him healthy and healed and confident, and, and then we'll kind of go from there and see if I'm even the best home for him or if there's somebody better suited out there for him. He's literally hugging me.